Um, is Target the only one releasing pops during the holidays? Hello, YouTube! What's going on? It's your boy once again, Mike McFly, and you're watching another video of McFly Collectibles. In today's video, I'm basically going to show you guys two Target exclusives that I did not think I was going to be able to grab because if you watch my previous videos, I always get bad luck, and lately I've been having some good luck. So who knows what 2021 is going to be like? And also, I got another Star Wars grill that I got from fellow Funko YouTuber and friend Slapshot Pops. So without further ado, let's check out these pops. What's going on Funko family? So if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell to get alerted on all my new content and make sure that notification bell is on because lately YouTube has not turned it on at all. I don't know what's going on. But I also greatly appreciate if you smash that like button down below and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of today's video. And now the first pop I wanna show you in today's video is a pop that I got from fellow friend and Funko YouTuber, Slapshot Pops. He's one of the biggest Star Wars fans that I know out there. And um, I basically got this from um, his auction. And he's a, he has a great YouTube. Check it out, Slapshot Pops. He's a great YouTuber. He's a cool guy too, man. Very respectable. And, you know, once when it comes to his auctions, you already know I got to go after the Star Wars grill. And I went after this and I told a lot of people I'm going after this General Grievous. And I got it. And uh, basically, you know, I, I just enjoy Star Wars. And if you guys already know, you know, spoiler alert, I'm going to just say it. Season two, The Mandalorian just finished, and uh, we all saw how, basically, I'm going to spoil it right now, but how Luke Skywalker came at the end, and uh, I already knew who it was when he popped up in the screen at first. I was like, oh my God, they just put Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian season two. So, and you know Funko's going to turn that into a pop. They probably gonna, they probably going to have an unmasked Mandalorian as a pop too, holding a child. Watch. You heard it here first. I'm telling you that right now. That's what's going to happen. They're going to make that whole episode probably like three or four pops from that last episode from season two. But we're going to take it out. Oh, and uh, he wrote something in here. This is pretty cool. He wrote something and he put a uh, mic. Your channel is always full of so much energy. Keep up the amazing work. Your grills are insane. Happy holidays. Sending you all the happiness, love, health, and you deserve. Love from Slapshot Pops. Guys, this is... Wow, this is this is awesome, guys. He... he this is amazing. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Slash Shop Pops. John, thank you so much, man. I'm humbled right now that, once again, you always looked out. And, oh, you know, I, this is, I think this is like my fourth puck, guys. Look at that. <laughs> A holiday version of the puck. This is cool. And he wrote on the back, happy holidays, brother. This is cool, man. Thank you so much, brother. Really appreciate that, man. This is cool. Like I said, man, I'm going to start playing hockey in the house, <laughs> for real. And uh, you got the... New Jersey Devils colors. I know you're a Rangers fan, but you know that red is New Jersey Devils. <laughs> right now, we got to take it out the bubble wrap. And ladies and gentlemen, yo, this is a grail. I'm saying that right now. And it's getting higher, higher in value. General Grievous. In a pop stack, in a stacky boy. <laughs> Let me take it out the stacky boy. Smooth. <laughs> All right. Oh, guys, man finally have this in my collection it's awesome man there it is box is pretty much near mint it's hard to find a 100 percent mint box when it comes to these this this general grievous everywhere i've been i found it like damaged you know completely messed up here's your factory code stamp right down the bottom and ladies and gentlemen the details if you guys don't know this is general grievous from star wars episode three um his character it was Basically, he had basically four lightsabers. Now, I understand that this pop only has two lightsabers. In the movie, he had four from all the Jedis that he killed. And when it comes to this pop, a lot of people are saying, well, he should have had four. If he puts four lightsabers, he has to be a six inch. I think somebody said that in the comment section on the Whatnot Auction too. Like, it'll have to be a six inch because there's no way in a box like this is going to fit all four lightsabers. But as far as like the, the pop itself, it's awesome. The details on it is amazing. I love it. Is one of the best Star Wars pops that Funko has done. And me personally, they might actually do like a, a, a maybe a six inch of this. Because a lot of people are requesting this pop more and more, you know. 
I think me personally, like as time goes on, is already, I think this pop is around between $125 to $150. This pop is going to be like two, $300 from now. You understand? It's going to go higher in value. This pop, a lot of people like this character in general, especially the hardcore Star Wars fans. So me personally, I'm happy that's in the collection. He played a pretty good role in the movie because the fact that this character, you know, he was coughing, sounded like he had like cancer, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was just cool, man, to see him, man. He looked it badass, especially in the scene where he's just, you know, two blades are just, his two lightsabers are going fast and the other two, he's fighting Obi-Wan, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was an amazing scene, that fight scene. I like it. Once again, this pop is awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, General Grievous, Walgreens exclusive, this is a Star Wars grill. All right, so now let's get to the Target exclusive pop. And uh, yeah, these pops, I was shocked to get. Now I did order them online uh, Friday and I went to do a store pickup. So when I went to do store pickup, my reaction was like, okay, I I'm do store pickup. I'm not gonna take a chance of waking up early because I looked at popfinder.com, checked the inventory and they had 27 in my local Target. So I said, all right, nobody could tell me that works there, yo, we don't have no more, or whatever the case may be. So when I got there, I said, you know, let me do store pickup first. So when I got there, I waited about 20 minutes. When I got the pop, the first box, the lady gave it to me, yo, it looked like a dog ate it. I'm not even lying. Yo, she looked at me too, like, what's the problem? I said, do you see this box? And once again, you know, I always tell people like, I don't care what people think, you know, well, it's just a, a figure, it's just a collect, listen, it's a collectible. I love Transformers, give me a new box. <laughs> And she just looked at me, she was like, what's wrong? I said, I need a new box, please. She gave it to somebody else. I actually went back there, followed the person. And when they came out the stock room, I said, listen, I, I, I need to see how they look. The, 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 pop that they were, the box that they were going to give me was damaged as well. And the back it was like basically torn. I said, listen, I, I want to see the box. So they brought the box out and I grabbed one. And believe it or not, when I seen, when they opened up the box, it looked like somebody took a blade and just like swiped at it. And this, I know someone who works in a GameStop and they say, they used to work in Target as well. And they tell me like, yo, sometimes when they open up these um, boxes, they don't care. They just, with their box cutter, whoosh, and they cut the pops. They like, they cut the boxes, you know what I'm saying? On top. So it's, you know, but enough of that, ladies and gentlemen, Target exclusive from Transformers Bumblebee. Box is pretty much, it's, it's near mint. It has a little ding right here in the corner because when I looked in the box, it was a lot messed up. So, you know, I'm not the only one though that's, that was complaining about that, but it's still in great condition though. Nothing wrong on top. Here's your factory code right there on the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, Bumblebee from Transformers. Now I'm going to tell you something right now. The movie, the solo movie that came out, I think a couple of years ago that had John Cena in it, that movie was great. It caught me by surprise. I think it came around Christmas time of 2018. That movie was awesome. You know what I'm saying? I liked it. And, you know, people say, oh, it's a Transformers movie. Guess what? It was not your normal Transformers movie. The storyline, everything played a role. It was great to see, you know, and obviously it was the prequel before the first Transformers that came out that Michael Bay directed. So this pop is actually from the cartoon and it's on point. Now, the common version is just him holding his um, gun. This one is just him with the wheels, with the like his wings. So, you know, it's fire. I like it. Once again, this whole Transformer line, the Retro Toys, is reminding me of the TV show because it's just on point with the details, the painting, everything. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I like it. I'm going after a bunch of these Transformer lines and yeah, I'm happy with this one. So another, once again, Target with another exclusive. This time it's Transformers, Bumblebee. Starscream was the other one, now Bumblebee. I'm sure we're going to have somebody else that's going to be a Target exclusive. The final pop I'm gonna show you guys is uh, you already got you you guys already know man I'm a big Back to the Future fan and I had to get Marty and Future outfit. This is metallic. His hat is metallic. Box, ladies and gentlemen, mint condition box. Nothing wrong on top. Factory code right here on the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. The details. It's a basically his hat. His hat is basically pretty much metallic. That is it. You know, I I, I like it is. I don't see the difference between the one that he, the common, which is the hat is silver, and then this one is more of like a holographic material. But it's cool. It's fire. You know what I'm saying? They, I don't think Funko needed to do that. They could have just used this as a common version, if you ask me. But since it has the metallic hat, this was sold out at my local Target. So the details ain't no much different than the common version. It's just the hat is metallic and it's holographic. So once again, Funko being a little bit lazy, milking that money, because they know we'll buy it, especially us Back to the Future fans. But the fact that this is sold out in Target, and I did this for pickup as well, and I'm surprised I got a mint box, but this one I got at a different Target. 
So um, I got this one downtown in uh, around 14th Street. And I'm surprised they had it. And it was in mint condition. And the guy said that, yo, you're you lucky we have one more. And this is the one more. And usually when you get one more, that means it's a messed up box. But nonetheless, I got it. It's in mint condition. And besides the fact that it's in mint condition, I got another Back to the Future pop. So I'm happy. Marty McFly, metallic hat, because that's what it is, you know, in his future outfit. But this is a cool looking pop. I mean, Funko is getting a little bit lazy with it, but... When, when aren't they not getting lazy when it comes to the pops? But I like this Back to the Future. Well, Funko family just showed you guys three cool pops that I recently got in the mail. And one of them I got from fellow Funko YouTuber and friend, Slap Shop Pops on that General Grievous Walgreens exclusive, which is a Star Wars grail. I'm saying that right now. So that pop will go up in value in the future. Once again, thank you so much to John at Slap Shop Pops. Thank you, Joara, Fallon. Alex, you guys are amazing. You guys are doing an awesome job over there. The channel is doing great. You guys are on the road to 1K. So anybody who hasn't, check out Slapshot Pops, which I know most of you guys have. If you haven't, subscribe right now. The channel is great. It's awesome. It's fun. They do a live stream every week. And, and I think it's pretty awesome, man. It's a great way to just zone out, especially with everything going on in the world, and just check out their live stream and just get lost in the Funko fun. You know what I'm saying? And also, I showed you guys two Target exclusive pops that basically I'm happy to get because once again, I'm getting good luck. Maybe I, I don't want Target watching this video and then they say, you know what? All right, he got enough pops. That's it. You know, <laughs> I know, you know, right now it's been Target's been doing good to me so far. I'm still going to do a rant if something happens, though. <laughs> but yeah, so I just also showed you guys this Back to the Future Target exclusive Marty McFly metallic hat because basically that's what it is. And this retro choice. Transformers Target Exclusive Bumblebee. Both pops are awesome. I'm happy that's into the collection, especially this Back to the Future pop. But once again, Target is getting all the pops this holiday season. GameStop here and there. Hot Topic, you had to pre-order because of the Hot Topic where I live at in the city, I'm closer to the Bronx and it's they don't even know when they're getting the DC Blacklight pops. That's, you know, Hot Topic exclusive. I'm trying to get those three, the Joker, Harley Quinn, and Batman from the Batman animated series, which is a great cartoon, by the way. And, and they basically that hot topic I hit them up and they say they don't even know when they're coming in and I'm seeing people that pre-order are getting their pops now you know for the last week or so so I should have pre-ordered it I did miss on the pre-order but I said to myself I'm gonna get it in store so I could do a video walking in there so I could show you how that hot topic looks in the Bronx but still waiting on it so hopefully it comes in that store I'll get hit up so I could do a nice little video in the hot topic in the Bronx ladies and gentlemen thank you for taking time out your day to watch me Mike McFly you watch a new video McFly Collectibles. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Happy holidays, y'all. Till then, I'm out.